Hey, welcome back everybody. In the last video, we asked you to find a solution to a cubed plus b cubed equals c cubed and or a to the 4 plus b to the 4 equals c to the 4 where a, b, and c are natural numbers. That doesn't include 0 because 0 obviously works. Were you able to find one? Did you get close? Well, in 1637, it turns out that Pierre de Fermat conjectured that if you have a to the n plus b to the n equals c to the n, where n is bigger than 2, like these two examples, that there is no solution. So you should not have found a solution to either one of these equations. Sorry to disappoint you. Now that theorem, known as his last theorem, wasn't actually proven till 1995 by a guy named Andrew Wiles. He was obviously very wily or clever to figure that out. And then about 20 years later, he won the Abel Prize for that proof because he was obviously very able. Now, if that's not possible, why did Homer Simpson come up with the following solution? 3, 9, 8, 7 to the 12 plus 4, 3, 6, 5 to the 12 equals 4, 4, 7, 2 to the 12. Try it on a scientific calculator, which has scientific notation and maybe you know, 9 or 10 decimal points. See if that isn't true. Who's smarter? Homer Simpson, Fermat, or Andrew Wiles? Look into it next time. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.